He's on. He's a <laughs> bro. He's on. He's on. He's on Savage Hours. Bro, as soon as I heard this, that was it. I was ready. I was ready to do work. I was like, all right. I just need a couple more things. I find starting like like it just recently like starting with these it's 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 so different from what I personally normally do that it's um it's like refreshing and inspiring. New colorway, yeah. I yeah, I redesigned I redesigned the room, you know, in, in honor of the uh, the SSL on the desk and the mixer, you know what I mean? Bringing it back to the grayscale, taking it back to Studio 1, uh Studio 1 version 2.6 aesthetic, you feel me? So I found some and what and like and what this is about cuz like when I was so doing the sample base beats and everything in, in order to like build stuff out and using one program on the MPC like it's so much it's so much different than working on a doll when you're just in it standalone right filling out the textures and and everything cuz there's like track makers isn't here if 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 you guys if you guys like working on an MPC you should give uh, track makers a follow cuz he does really good videos like he just like he don't talk he just he just make beats <laughs> you know what i mean which is which is which is awesome um but like there's the, you know like there's people who approach who approach like you know you, you grab a sample maybe you pitch it up that that thins that that thins the shit out and then you surround it with VSTs and everything and when like the approach that I've been using now is is instead of doing that, because that's more like I feel like that's like more of like a two thousands way of doing it. Like it's more like performative. I like the like at least right now I like the layering the different samples from everywhere, especially like especially like with some of these one shot packs, like the 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 old stuff that Marco Polo did, where he was just ripping one shots from records and and reselling it, you know and a lot of uh, like dude a lot of these older packs where they were where they were taken off of records like they're gems dude because you got somebody who's who's like dope as fuck and they're curating it for you and you can just and you could just use it you know and then and then working like that being able to go somewhere like splice <laughs> where they make it like dude it's so easy bro like people get lazy with splice you know and they'll just be looping shit but it's it's so easy it's so easy to be dope on splice too i'll show you what i mean so like i heard i heard these three these were like and and to me these were like the three fucking coolest things out of the pack i listened to the whole pack and i was like i'm taking my three favorite right because that's you know that's how that's how you curate if you if you get something like splice and you just take everything and put it in your drive and then and then sync that drive up to your mpc then you just wind up you wind up never doing nothing with that bro tell me i lied 